feelings oh my word. where do our feelings come from what causes our feelings and without turning into some national geographic documentary there is no wishbone <laughs> or reading rainbow oh no magic school bus jumping into your subconscious with miss frizzle and her crazy wild dresses this is just a human to another human on the other side of the screen to just talk about and discuss feelings. Even though, yes, this is a format that leans to a one-sided discussion. It hopefully is non-judgmental, non-critical, but does in inject critical thinking into real life scenarios so that we don't just uh, land or drop in you know we don't just arrive at a location and not question how we got there like let's analyze it let's talk about it let's be real let's be honest because uh, I think you're worth you're worth the discussion just like I know that I'm worth the discussion so let's talk about it why do feelings matter how can we change them Oh wow, totally did not plan wearing my my romance shirt. All around me, like from people that I'm in direct communication with, connection with in life. Things I see on social media, posted places, movies, television shows, show me that feelings are, that they're at the core of who we are, but I think they're dictating a lot more than they should. So I was led down a path, and so here we are. We're gonna share, we're gonna talk about a few things because I like to talk, but I also like to listen. I also like to share and discuss because the world needs more discussion instead of everyone with their megaphone yelling at each other and no one can hear anything. So, feelings. feelings. Feelings are the reason that we we buy those that girl, those girls. <laughs> Hopefully not multiple girls, but feelings are the reason that you buy that girl those uh, flowers on Valentine's Day. They're the reason that when we watch uh, Avengers Endgame, that we cry at that part. You know the part with Tony Stark. They're the reason. Uh, our feelings, you know, they're the root of a lot of what we do, if not most of what a lot of us do. Talk about the fact that feelings do have an associated action in all of us. Um, and yeah, so where, where do our feelings come from? What we believe is important. It dictates your relationships, how you vote, your career, uh, what you wear, um, how I got to where I believe and how you got to where you believe are, are very unique, even if we arrive at the same place or even if we arrive at different places. One thing about what we believe that is similar, even if the endpoints are different and the routes that we got there, that we arrived at our belief all started with a thought. One thought, maybe multiple thoughts, but it started with one. I had a thought, you had a thought, and that's where we ended up to what we believe. In the movie Inception, we see that one thought, and I, I get it, it's a movie, but we see the power of the thought in that one thought can change an entire person's life and ultimately everyone around them. What you think has an impact on you and those around you. Your thoughts are powerful. I mean, even the words we say, we have to think about. Hold up. We've all said things that we say, oh, I didn't think about the impact. I didn't think about it. And I know, I know, I know. But scientifically, you need your brain to talk. You have to, this is where your 
the alphabet, the words, vocabulary are stored here, the mouth on its own cannot function without the brain. That's what I'm talking about. What I mean is you thought of what to say, even if you didn't think about the impact. Your words come from your thoughts. All this to say, your mind controls what comes out of your mouth. Let's say that again. Your mind controls what comes out of your mouth. It also controls what you do. If you think the light is green, then you are going to press the gas pedal and move the car forward. Am I right? If you're a good driver, that's what you do, right? If you see that there is a car stopped in front of you, then you're going to pump those brakes and slow down. Once you perceive it, see it, hear it, feel it, smell it, your mind makes a decision. It believes something either based on an experience or something you've been told. Whatever that route to the belief, those two things, whatever that route is to that belief that you have, it still takes you thinking it for it to become a belief, right? So I believe that if I keep going, if that car is stopped in front of me, I'm going to hit it. I may have never run into a car, but I've seen someone do it, or I've been told it, or maybe I have run into a car and I've experienced it firsthand. Whether or not, however we got there, we believe that if we keep going and a car is stopped in front of us, that we will be in a wreck. Now, hold on. What about that girlfriend that you have a past with and things didn't end well, but she starts giving you attention again. She starts texting you. She starts being nice, being friendly, kind of letting you know that she's interested again or her actions are making you think that. Suddenly, all that you knew, all that you believed, you're now questioning, right? That giant red button of override is happening. This is where the soul comes in. Because man, let me tell you, every clear thought, every wise counsel, every person, you know, whether it's your dad or your, your brothers that you're talking to, like, man, this girl, she did this and that, and you know, you- That, you, you are done, you, you're set, right? She comes around, question everything, right? We doubt it all because, hey, well, 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 well. So the soul has the power to change your heart and your brain. Our heart being the believer and our brain being the animator. Meaning, if I feel something like, oh, I feel this is not good, or I feel this is great, my brain's gonna act upon what I feel in my heart. What I believe to be true, my brain will act. If I need to get out because it's a dangerous situation, I'm gonna calculate the ways to jump out the window, get out if the, there's a fire, but if it's great, I'm like, man, how can I enjoy this party even more? Or, man, I think she likes me. How do I get to talk to her even more? So our brain starts to think once we believe something is true. It's impossible to have a complete thought without having a feeling, the fe without having the feeling of what you're thinking. Meaning if you think great things about yourself, you're gonna start to feel confident. You're gonna start gonna feel positive. You're gonna have physical responses that are helpful. Whereas if you think you're always messing up, if you think you're bad, if you think you're stupid, if you think negative things about you, that's gonna start to change. Your facial expressions are gonna change. Your, your uh, beliefs about yourself are gonna change. You're gonna not be as confident. You're not gonna, you're not gonna carry yourself the same way. Thoughts impact your feelings, which then impact your actions from the inside out. <laughs> Can you tell I've had a few of these today? All right, so uh, when I was a kid, uh, there would be times at night when I'd be trying to go to sleep and I would hear a noise. And immediately, all the triggles, triggers, all the twiggles, all the triggers, all the alerts would go off in me when I would hear a noise. It'd be like, my heart would go up. <laughs> cold sweat I would my mind would be racing of all the things that could be going on because it's dark you can't see anything and your mind just wanders and you just you can't place the sound what, what I thought was happening 
was causing an actual physical response in my body, an increased heart rate, my mind not being able to shut down, even sweating, simply from my thoughts. So our thoughts are really powerful. They can impact our physical person. They have the power to do that. What are the outside forces around you causing you to think? Are your thoughts turning into true beliefs? Are your feelings overriding and making you think things that aren't true? Because ultimately, the truth is, it was the ice maker making that noise because my bedroom was close to the kitchen. I wasn't in harm's way at all. And any sleep that I might have lost and any impact to my physical person that was being experienced was my own doing. I believed something that wasn't true. When I say this word, I'm about to say something. When I say it, I want you to do your best to try not to think about it. Green elephant. Right? It's next to impossible. Now, if you've conditioned yourself, you may be like, you have the power to just like close out and just like, you ignored me when I gave you that alert. Um, but when we, when we speak things, when we say it, you have to think it. You can't, it doesn't work the other way around. You can't say something and not think about it. Your words have that power to do that in you. Feelings are real. Our feelings come from our thoughts. So our feelings can expose what we truly believe. They have the ability to do that. So think of it, some, in some cases, when you're feeling something, it's just exposing what you truly believe. And maybe that needs to change. And maybe you were right all along, whatever the case is. The challenge is to make sure that you are not believing a lie. You're not allowing lies to become your beliefs because in the Titanic, Jack may have been the one that sacrificed himself for Rose. But man, that's the same dude that caused his wife, Mal, to jump off the building in Inception. Just saying, your feelings can lie. The, in one scenario, it can be the best thing, the, the, the perfect scenario. In another, it can be the fault line that causes the biggest riff in your life. So where is it coming from? Where is it headed? What's it trying to get you to do? Feelings, man. <laughs> that was a little maniacal. Y'all.